Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to Mark's Tech. So recently, just earlier today, some news came out regarding, well, you guessed it, the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. It seems like the bandwidth on the Xbox Series X HDMI 2.1 is 40 gigabits per second, and on the PlayStation 5 it is 32 gigabits per second, both of them using, obviously, HDMI 2.1. So what's bandwidth? Well, think of it as a highway. The more cars you have on a highway, the thicker the highway, the, m the more information is going from point A to point B, except just replace cars with information. And that's basically what bandwidth is. But in terms of both of these consoles, you don't have to worry because to achieve true native 4K 120 frames per second, you just need a minimum of 29 gigabits per second of bandwidth on, well, the HDMI 2.1 port. Uh, both of the consoles go above that, so you are fine. In fact, uh, the, the actual limitation of native 4K 120 frames per second is just the developers and uh, the actual hardware inside both of the consoles. The part that's interesting is that the PS5 does a uh, 422 chroma subsampling and the Xbox Series X does a 444 chroma subsampling. Now, listen, if you have no idea what I just said, uh, this isn't for you. And I don't blame you because this isn't really something that is going to kill a console. In fact, it is really not that big of a deal, but it kind of is at the same time. The higher the chroma subsampling, the more information is stored in terms of color reproduction. So uh, have you guys ever seen a, a very bad YouTube video where the compression is very horrible and um, you, you can see these weird bands of color on the sky, for example, um, if you guys have gone outside ever, you'll notice that the sky isn't bands of different shades of blue. It's just one nice gradient of blue, right? So if you're watching a YouTube video and you can see bands of light, that is called banding. And that really happens when the chroma subsampling is low. So the Xbox's 444 pretty much eliminates that problem, but 422 is also very good. In fact, I would only be worried if, X, uh, or if the PlayStation did 420, uh, that would be very noticeable. So, so for another example, here is a picture of 444 chroma subsampling, and then here is a picture of 422. Um, again, the difference is, is, is really not that noticeable. It might be noticeable when you have two consoles side by side on two different TVs and you're constantly looking at the other TV trying to spot things. Uh, then you might notice something, but when you're playing games like Call of Duty, jumping and sliding around everywhere, or any basically any other game, Gears of War, shooting up, blowing things up, you're not really looking at the chroma subsampling, you're just enjoying the game. But the facts are facts, and the Xbox Series X does produce better colors and will help eliminate color banding. So is this a big deal? Well, like I said, not really. In fact, Sony could probably fix this with a software update because there's no reason why HDMI 2.1 can't do 444 subsampling. Um, or, or chroma subsampling, I should say. So this could be something that Sony can fix, and if not, again, it doesn't really matter. It's not like it's not like the PlayStation 5 is 420, because this is what 420 looks like, and um, that would be bad. <laughs> you wouldn't even need a comparison to notice that difference. You could notice that difference without a comparison. So um, e either way, both consoles are fantastic. Just just enjoy it. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.